What's up? Matt from Roach Fab here. In today's video, I'm going to be making a start on rewiring this beast. So the wiring in this thing is uh, one part of the car that I've never been happy with. This is what's been hiding up, up underneath here behind this box. And uh, when I initially wired the car, I started off with um, just wanting to get it running and get out and use it. So we've just got this spaghetti mess of wires all over the place and lots of things added over time, which is never a good thing. I've got my switches up here, which I kind of like, but it's difficult to, when you're on track, to actually, you know, look up to the switches. So the plan is aim PDM, aim dash, and then the uh, aim steering wheel button kit, which is a wireless system. And then I'll have all my switches on the steering wheel and then I'm going to make this into a little switch panel and I will have a few switches on here. So yeah, going to be upgrading all the electrics. I'm changing the ECU over to a max ECU. Um, and then this car is going to have really sort of up together high tech electronics. So it's, it's the same setup that's in the Mini, but just the bigger version. I've got the 10 inch dash instead of a 6 inch dash. And then we've got the 32 channel PDM instead of the 8 channel. And then for the ECU, we've got Max Street ECU. So the reason I've gone for a Max is because Steve at PVE, who tuned the car, I think he's the man when it comes to tuning. He's going to be doing all my tuning moving forward. Uh, this is what Steve likes to use. He is a distributor for Max and... I've spent quite a bit of time at Steve's whilst he's been tuning cars and he's demonstrated a lot of stuff to me that these can do and um, I was impressed with it so it just made sense to uh, swap it over. I'll run through some of that stuff when we come to tuning it. So the PDM just comes with uh, your plugs and the connection leads for your GPS and stuff. Uh, you can get a pre-made loom, um, but I'm making my own loom just to save myself a bit of money. AIM do sponsor the builds, so some of this stuff has been uh, sent over as a sponsorship. Some of it I've bought, um, but I rate the AIM stuff really highly. I was really impressed with it from installing it on the Mini and the I wanted to uh, use all the same gear on this car. <laughs> That's a big old screen. So we'll get that mounted up in a minute. So I had a spare engine loom and uh, Steve has put the Max ECU plug onto the loom for me. So as I said, I'm going to have all the controls on the steering wheel and then I'm going to make a little um, keypad out of these. These are really high quality switches that came out of a, a lift car. So I, I kept a few of them. Just little push button switches. So I'm going to make just a little like four button keypad. So that would would uh, replace the Blink Marine keypad that I've got in the Mini. So this is just a, a budget version of that. So I think what we'll start doing is just tearing all the wiring out of this thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, is always my advice. But I couldn't leave it like this. I'm going back now. Right, so I've gutted everything out. So I've got a nice blank canvas to work with. I've got the new loom fed through there. A couple of bits I'm keeping of the old wiring. This, this is the goes to the gearbox, so that'll be the speed sensor. 
and then the wiring that goes to the lights at the back that's all quite neat um, so I'm just going to cut that off put a plug on it and then I'll have a plug-in connector to the PDM loom and then I'm going to move the battery back a bit just so that I've got a bit more room in front PDM is going to mount here, battery here I'll have good access to everything so that's the plan so now I'm going to make a bracket for the dash and um, a new little switch panel for that so this is my isolator bracket instead of my uh, headlight switch which is that we have four of these little push button switches in the same place and then just remake the same bracket so luckily I found the file that I used I've got basically everything, uh, all the brackets and everything made to get all the uh, components fixed in place. So this is my isolator switch panel, which came out nice. These can be, uh, these will be hardwired to the PDM. These can be uh, momentary, so you press them and hold them, or they can be latching or they can be multi-function, so you press it once, does one thing, press it again, it does another thing. So all that can be set up in the uh, Race Studio free software, which I'll show you when we get to that point. This is my bracket for the screen. I've also made some base plates for the PDM and also the ECU. My thinking with this is these do get hot. This should provide a bit of sort of heat sink and 
some air flow below it. This is going to be stuck into the car with double sided foam tape which is fairly thick and it will actually um, take any vibration out so it will you know it will be a, uh, a soft mounting if you like but I can still unscrew it and remove it if I need to um, and also it means I don't have to drill any holes through the, the car which is always uh, a good thing. Double sided tape is really strong um, once it's stuck basically have to cut the foam to get it off I don't know if you can hear but that completely takes it really dampens the uh, the rattle because there's there's complete separation from metal to metal obviously um, you might think just like putting a rubber gasket in between and bolting that down will have the same effect but it doesn't because the the vibration will just travel through the bolts. Uh, the the rubber gasket would have some effect of absorbing some vibration, but doing it this way, there's complete separation from metal to metal, so it's you know it just really does uh, dampen it down. So yeah, I think that's quite a good way of doing it. This little control box goes with my wireless steering wheel keypad thing so we need to mount that on the wheel these are designed really for much flatter steering wheels so it's a bit of a stretch to reach but still way easier than uh, you know reaching for the switch panel above the cage I might end up moving this back. Um, I reused the original bracket that this is where I had my little one mounted. Obviously, the uh, the dash I had in there before was like a tenth of the size of that. So I've redone the bracket, moved it right back, and made it so it's got a fold in it, so it's actually rigid because it was um, it's quite a big, heavy screen, I think smashing over bumps and stuff it would have been shaking which would have been really annoying so so that's a lot better right i'm happy with that i've tilted it a bit sort of back as well made the bracket so it's it's exactly 90 degrees my eye line is exactly like 90 degrees to the screen um if you get what i mean Right, so I've decided that I'm just not happy with having that, all that extra length just wrapped around. It's just gonna look not how I want it to look, really. Um, going to all this effort, might as well do it and get it looking how I want it. So I'm gonna take that plug off and uh, re remake this bit so that it just comes straight around. ECU up there, facing the right way up. And this will just loop straight into there like that. Right, I'll just show you where I'm up to with my wire in. Shorten down the ECU loom. That was actually quite a decent amount of work to uh, to do that. But um, so we got two two plugs on the PDM32. I've got this one fully pinned in, and then the different sections that are going off to different places separated. I spent a lot of time creating these um, there's more time goes in, way more time goes into planning than um, than there does into actually 
connecting this up, but by doing this, it, it makes something that would look quite complicated, makes it quite easy if you just remember that every wire just has one purpose. So if you go through each wire individually, you know, you shouldn't really be able to get it wrong if you've uh, planned everything out right. So what I've done on here is you've got your inputs and your outputs, low, medium and high. So I've marked the colour of every wire, the wire size, the de destination it goes to, the connector it goes to, if, and then it, even the pin on the connector that it goes to. So you can see that my mid output on pin 7, mid output 6, is a red wire, 1 mil. it's an ECU feed, so it's going to DT12, which is my DT12 connector on my uh, ECU loom, pin four. So I just, I know that pin seven from here is gonna end up at pin four on here. So, so my low output five, white wire, 0.75, right rear indicator, and this just FR stands for front or rear, so I know it's going to the rear of the car. So that's in my my loom here of wires that are going to the rear of the car. And so it just makes it easy to check everything and make sure that I've got it right. So the wiring of the PDM itself is, is simple because you've just got basically one wire going out to everything. Uh, no relays or fuses to worry about. So it is, it's quite a bit of work doing all the planning like this, but it makes, makes this bit really straightforward and you can actually, you know, you'll actually might spot some of your errors in your planning before you've even started doing this so you don't make the mistakes in the actual wiring. I actually am quite enjoying this uh, stuff. Makes a bit of a change. That's all good. Uh, I need to say big thanks to uh, AIM for supporting me and the builds and uh, helping me out. It really, it takes the level of my builds up a notch having this kind of equipment in there. And uh, I feel quite privileged that they want me to um, demonstrate their stuff being used and installed. So, um, yeah, I've got AIM, AIM electronics on all my vehicles. I've actually got some AIM electronics to fit to my bike, which I'm really excited about. I really do rate their stuff highly. Once you get your head around it, the, um, the amount you can do with this stuff is, is quite unbelievable, really. What I'm going to do is, once I've got this installed and um, up and running, I'm going to raffle off some AIM kit. So I'll probably just do a voucher so that you can get basically whatever you want from their site. Enough, you know, and there'll be enough to get if you wanted to get this exact setup or, you know, just a lap timer and a camera. It'd be a couple of grand's worth of kit. Yeah, if you're into any kind of motorsport, then it's well worth having a look on their, uh, on their website and see if there's anything on there that takes your fancy. I'll sort that out over the next couple of weeks and yeah hopefully by the next the next video I'll have some details up on that but that is going to be something I'm going to do so once this is all wired up I'm going to be going back to PVE to get back on the dyno and the wizard that is Steve is going to tune her up and hopefully get a few more ponies out of it that's going to be it for this one cheers for watching see you on the next one